So, I am officially a tool. Because I'm the guy who made a... Hey, let's uh, say farewell to Article 5. And then the patch was delayed for two weeks. So, uh, basically it was not the farewell to Article 5 I expected. And I expected that the following day I would just make another video about the new training mode for Siege. Yeah, that got delayed. So, here we are, two weeks later. And we're gonna take a look at the new versus AI mode and then the map training mode. We're picking the versus AI mode uh, first, because that's the thing people are gonna be more interested in. So, we are gonna play against advanced bots and the matchmaking is off that means we are essentially playing one versus five we do not have friendly bots on our team so uh, at this point in time as far as i can tell there's only clubhouse there is no other map available for this mob mode than clubhouse and you can only play as attacker and you can only play with these five operators. I have not found any way to unlock more operators. It seems like these are the ones you got. So I'm gonna go with Fermite. Uh, might customize a bit more, make sure I have a more decent scope, but grip, everything else looks good to go. And there we are. Like I said, we are now completely alone, and you will actually play for your, you will play the correct number of rounds. So this is not a one round thing, rather you will play best of three. Uh, meaning that if you are, well, I think it's more than best of three, I think it's more, ah, uh, never mind. Uh, but either way, if you get free zero on them, you win. However, the more likely result is that they are gonna get go free zero on me okay, because these go. bots can be absolutely lethal. And pretty much Five they replicate the online experience by being you must bullshit good bomb. with their guns. So yeah, you might actually want to take out their cameras because they can scan you with it. And I don't know if that actually matters, if they have some sort of programming that will actually take into consideration. And yeah, they do like... All friendly like I said, eliminated. they really like their bullshit. Such as this shit. We got two of them, but we lost. So, now we have to do it all over again. They are very good at knowing exactly where you are as well. Like, I have only tried, like, one of them, so... Yeah, I think we're going to put a boom magnifying dot on that. Breaching hammer, frag grenade. And we're gonna go in with sledge this time around. See what everything is. We need to locate a bomb. So let's roll. And see what's up there. I think they are upstairs at any rate. If there is any doubt that this is a bot team, it's that they haven't been in basement yet. Uh, but it seems like they are rather in the same spot. So, yeah, they're in the same spot. So we got. <laughs> and they are also very good at shooting, just seconds. shooting the drone whenever they feel like it. Five seconds before insertion. And let's go. Bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. And we're gonna pop these just in case. And we are not going to. Now they can do runouts. I've seen that. And it's not very fun when they do, honestly. However, we 
could probably hope that one of our new frag grenades might ruin their party a bit. I think there's someone here. Valkyrie's down. <laughs> AI Montreal. I wonder if they're gonna try and hunt me down or if they stay put. I can't hear any movement, so... But we can't breach that wall. So we can't breach this one. We got a smoke. <laughs> a smoke with a shotgun. That will teach me. So, yeah, pushing that position was not the most bright idea I had. I should have just lobbed a grenade in there. Just lobbing a grenade in there would have been much safer. But, I will give this... I will give the mode the, uh, the absolute... Uh, I think we're gonna try Thatcher. I'm very comfortable with Thatcher. Uh, one thing I can definitely say about this mode is that it is a pretty damn good teaching to tool. Around. Because it, as long as you play on your own, uh, I think that this mode is, would be far too easy if you have other players with it. But I have tried to match make, and so far I have not found anyone else actually playing this mode. So it's a little bit difficult to find. But these bots will absolutely wreck your day. Especially if you are 1 versus 5. I am tempted to just see if I can cheese them with glass. But I also think that I will try Thatcher instead. But like I said, we are 0 2 right now. And even if I take this game, uh, I. Well, I will have an uphill battle. Because these bots are. A little too good, or rather, I should I shouldn't say that they're a little bit too good because that's unfair. Uh, they, it's basically me who have allowed my skills to we got some with the EMP grenade. Let's see if they're gonna take the bait. There is a general rule that basically says always wait uh, five more seconds than your opponent, and I violated that rule pretty handily. Especially as uh, you obviously knew I was going. So, yeah, Smoke got the MVP, obviously. So, yeah, it is entirely possible to just enti lose that mode and we are gonna pivot from my horrible loss of um, prestige and rather we are going to enter the training mode and the map training and the target drill now the target drill is actually one of the more interesting things they have added because it is something that will work for both new and old players. You can start as offense, or you can start as, as defense. And I think we going might actually pick a free speed operator just to make sure this goes a bit, uh, a bit more quickly. Uh, not not really sure whom to pick though. Uh, preferably one who has a decent gun. Uh, free speed, decent gun. Yeah, that's basically Ash every time of the day, ain't it? Uh, but no, it's gonna be Capital, but he's not free... Yeah, he's free speed. And we can have him have his para. What this thing does is essentially teach you how angles and fights Welcome will work. So we're, we're setting up a ping here. Is to all the 
targets wherever you find them. And now we will have a ping that basically says targets are here. And what this does is that these targets will shoot at you. You will not be you will not be uh, shot at back. You will be shot at back, but you won't die basically. And what this does is that you can get a fair estimation on how everything is going to work when you're in a multiplayer game. Because if we pop in there, we're gonna see, oh, this might be one of those times you might actually want to pop a grenade, or it's gonna be tricky to handle the corner, or it's gonna be tricky to handle someone who's halfway hidden right behind here. That's the kind of thing this mode will teach you. And it will teach you that on the new map as well, which is frankly very, very useful. Another thing that it will teach you is your aim point under stress. Because I have a tendency to aim for center mass and then allow the marker to climb along with the shot. But I do get better results, on, at least on the dummies, uh, by trying to aim for the head immediately. Or at least I do most of the time. So, I've already, uh, despite the fact that I've been playing Siege since I like, came out, and I am currently just considering myself being rusty in it, I can find something useful in this training mode to watch my own, uh, my own, uh, my own performance, and I can do so with any of the weapons in a way that I feel that the shooting range does not allow, because this is first of all on the actual maps, and uh, you can pick any of the operators, and you will end up in situations that remind uh, you of the actual situations you're gonna face in a game. But without without aborting the knowledge or the teaching moments, so to speak. So, yeah. It's a very, very useful training mode. And to be honest, it's almost a little bit relaxing. It's like a kill house. It's like a kill house level. And very relax, very, very relaxing in that regard. Just learn, move. Oh crap! There's a lot of them. One thing I really uh, would like this mode to have is actually a, a score system based on how much you were hit. So you could basically tell the system that. Uh, that, oh, this time you got hit four times, and now you want to want to reduce that, so maybe you have, like, a cutoff. But these maps are currently the ones that are available, so it's Clubhouse, Bank, Consulate, Chalet, and Oregon. So I think we're actually going to pick a map that I actually do know. Uh, I'm thinking, I have a... Yeah, I think we're gonna do Clubhouse with another operator. And uh, we're gonna see if I can make everything go a little bit faster this time around. Just to see, because this is a map I, I actually do know. And as you can see, we can also end up as, a, as a defenders. Not that that matters all that much, because it doesn't. Uh, Ella is one of my more solid up. Uh, Cavera is also one of my more solid defenders. Uh, same with Mute, but Mute is pretty slow. Uh, so... I still dislike Fenrir. Gods, I dislike Fenrir so much. Uh, Tchanka, Bandits... Oh, we, we, could go, we, we could go with Jäger. Uh, it, it's a fairly balanced setup we got going there. And we're gonna customize, so we get, go with the flash hider, and of course with the angled grip, and we can go with uh, a non-magnification sight on his carbine. So, now I know this map. I know this map fairly well. well 
Welcome to the target drill. I'm gonna set up a few dummies in the building. You head in there and take them all out. Right, you are. All right, so. A little more to game, but let's go. As you can see, the dots doesn't necessarily show you where the target is going to be. They will show you the general target location. So, and then it's up to you to sweep the target location. And as you can see, the bots also form up in a way that attackers may do if they were, were to form up on the objective that you're trying to defend. So if I aim straight at the pings now, I don't hit anything. So it's it's not a cheating. It's not really that much of a cheating to reload, and they are below us. We don't really have anything to blow through that. So we can basically move up down on the foot, and there we have someone waiting for us. And, like I said, this is also a very good tool to just see if you can adjust your aim point with different weapons. And it takes it takes you a little bit getting used to that, the different weapons and everything. But it's still a very good reference point for how you can perform in a multiplayer game. And you also get the feedback immediately, and you do it without necessarily getting shot in the meantime. So, yeah, I am a big fan of... I'm a big fan of this mode. Well, otherwise, other than that, I never seen pistols being this lethal in Siege, so I don't know if, as far as I can tell, the dummies should have the same HP as an enemy operator in a multiplayer game. But I am honest, I do not have any idea if that's actually the. But remember, the more you practice, the better you get. All right, so now we have practiced, and by any measure, we should be somewhat better at this. So how about we give it another go with the bots and see if we have any any more luck there. I'm thinking if we should actually try and find some find uh, uh, matchmaking for the mode. I don't. I'm not sure if there are any playing. We can check for like 30 seconds or something like that. I don't think I want to give it more time than that. Uh, just to see what kind of players we get if we are playing this online. With them. Yeah, so we do get some other people for this. I kind of expect people just going to just gonna rush in and kill everything, and it's going to be actual experienced people playing this. Uh, so what I expect from this is going to be. A rush to the kills. Uh, so you can actually play as recruit as well. I missed that. Uh, and then you get the L85. Yeah, I can. I can do Thatcher. I'm pretty decent as Thatcher. So recruit has some limited. <laughs> Everyone go recruit. No, I'm not gonna go recruit. Okay. Huh. Let's see what we got then. Let's go with the M14. If we if we're gonna cheese this, then I might I might as well just join with the cheese. I have no idea what kind of uh, Oh yeah, I, I can alter that in Oh, uh, in its preset I do want to keep the super shorty. I want do want to keep the frag grenade. I do, I do want a breaching charge. Uh, so yeah, there we go. And we can, oh, we can have. <laughs> speaking of meme weapons, we can have the machine gun. If we're gonna meme this, I'm gonna do the, do it properly. I haven't seen anyone actually use the M to uh, 
M249 in a really long time in Siege, and using the M14, I'm actually pretty decent with the M14, but I'm not decent with the with the uh, machine with any of the machine guns. So let's just mean the shit out of this. Blood for the blood god! <laughs> and the first thing that happens, I get killed by someone who's camping in garage. <laughs> I wonder if, if if our entire team is losing this, I'm going to lose my mind because that would be fucking hilarious. And a Oh, why did you throw? Uh, <laughs> did you not see that you managed to blow up your own grenade, dude? Ready to breach any second. <laughs> Valkyrie got him. <laughs> this team is not really doing very well, are we? Well, there's only, uh, there's, oh, well, uh, we, apparently, the, does it, wasn't there a boss, no, it's not, it wasn't the boss behind him, it would have been very funny if it was, we'll see what's going on here. Some traps, crossfire. Pretty empty. Yeah, they Power got the last bots. I should have expected that. It it would have been fun if the bots have wiped them, but at the end of the day, this is not the game mode where the bots are supposed to wipe your team. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, recruit, and I'm actually gonna pick the EBR. This time around, super shorty. So yeah, basically, this is uh, the f this is the first uh, round. I oh, he picked sledge. What a tool. Come on. Use your go. To I wonder if they are in the basement now. I have seen them be in the basement, but not not during this play session. We'll keep our eyes open. Nah, they're in the same place. The the bots are fairly decent at uh, bla just blasting the. Five seconds before insertion. Bla just blasting the drones out of the sky too. One of the things I do not like about Modern Siege is actually the way they have altered, altered uh, scopes. I want scopes, I want a zoom-in scope to be, to ruin, basically ruin your ability. Ah, crap. No joy. I want to, I want zoomed-in scopes to ruin your uh, peripheral vision. And the... I don't see any bots. No bots. No bots. I don't see any enemies from the window here. And one thing they can do is they can run out and they can not really spawn peek, but they can at least ambush you from cover. But yeah, uh, it's a whole different experience playing this with other people. Uh, and like Terrorist Hunt is also 
far easier with other people. So, we've done all of the terrorist hunt weapons. We might as well go with the L85 this time around, just so you know we 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 have something to we have some fun with it. Just a couple of seconds to go. Let's roll. Yeah, they're uh, they're on top of us again. Uh, let's see. I wanna I wanna change my spawn point. Uh, oh, never mind. What's Ten done is go. done. Insertion in five seconds. Operators are locked in. Located Let's go. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Yeah, we gotta be more aggressive here. <laughs> and I get... I forget to check the corners, and th that's what happens if you comp don't check the corners. I completely earned that one, I, I was just careless. And I was like, I need to be aggressive, I need to run in, I need to throw a grenade. Yeah, and <laughs> the traps, the traps. Oh, dear lord, the traps. I'm not... I know I know I was rusty, but this, this is actually a bit ridiculous, honestly. Oh, now, now he's trying to basically get the bot to uh, this place. He actually got him, too. Ah, flawless victory, and I don't think I got a single one. Ah, this buster, uh, hope. Yeah, he's hopeless. Anyway, for you know, just training and just keeping your skills fresh. This is actually a. This is actually a. Pr oh yeah, there's this system as well. Not that there's any commendations to actually be given, but... Let's just drop this and... Yeah, so... While I'm gonna miss Article 5 that I barely played, uh, I would say that these new training modes are actually pretty solid. They're fun, they do teach the fundamentals of the game and if you at least play one versus five on the bots it's also pretty challenging well done Ubisoft now just bring us back old quick match right <laughs>